How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me again on tea. I'm gonna taste this jambalaya first. Let's just go ahead on and cook. Get the part of the chicken that I like. Turtle stew, come here, boy. Mm. You know how it looks good? This is going to be good, I guarantee I talk to it like it knows what I'm talking about. I like it, it's good. I believe in easy cooking, believe me, I do. How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me, I guarantee, and I'm gonna cook something that you will like today, I guarantee you that too. Some wild rice, and I'm gonna make a seven steak etouffee after that. And that seven steak etouffee, it's so good, I think I'll eat all of it myself too. Right now I'm gonna cook some wild rice, most people, don't know how to fix my wild rice, and I didn't. It took several experiments for me to realize I cooked it just like the other rice, only a little longer, because it, it's a little tougher. Got a different flavor, thank goodness. I'm gonna put all this stuff in there, too. Got a spoon to stir it around. Now, in this wild rice, I got two cups of uncooked wild rice. And this makes so Oh, the recipe says four to six servings. It'll make more than that, actually. I take two teaspoons full of salt, put that in there, and I'm gonna do this. Uh, this is how I measure a teaspoonful, actually. Now, that's a teaspoonful. Y'all don't believe it. But I'm gonna get this teaspoon and prove it to you after I pour this next teaspoonful in my hand. Just about a teaspoonful. Come here, spoon. Over the rice, let's be sure we put it in the spoon. You see there, nothing to it like eating lettuce, see? But I always like to put a little extra. Now, make it taste more better. Then I'm gonna put some, uh, about a, a teaspoon, or a, a quarter of a teaspoon full of cayenne pepper. It is right here. It's about a quarter of a teaspoon full I'm going to put in there. It's a quarter, I bet. A quarter teaspoon full of cayenne pepper. One half, one half teaspoon of garlic powder. Hold them up there. One half, I use that because I, I want to be sure I don't miss it. That's a quarter. I don't mind having a little bit too much cayenne pepper, but too much garlic wouldn't be good. It's a half a teaspoonful of garlic powder we're gonna put on that. Maybe a little bit more, no. Get over there, now. Now, that's got it. That's a little bit more than a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, won't hurt. I like garlic. Put that back over here. Onion powder, I got to put that on there. I put about a one and a half teaspoon full of onion powder. And we'll measure that carefully. <laughs> <laughs> That's one and a half teaspoon, I guarantee it right now. A teaspoon of dried mint. Now I use mint, I don't use bay leaf to cook with hard at all. I have, and I love bay leaf, but it, uh, I'm gonna put a whole teaspoon full of, of dried mint in there. Cause it's got a good flavor, but it doesn't kill the flavor of the other thing that I put in there. That's the mainest thing. Now, I'm going to stir that up. Then I'm gonna put some, some water on it and some olive oil. And I use olive oil to keep it from boiling over. It'll do it too. I'm putting this fire under this yet because it didn't need it. I uh, will put fire under it, don't worry. Now we put a little water. See, the way I cook this is the way I cook my regular rice. Now if I had a pot this big, and I'd fill it nearly full of rice, 
I wouldn't be able to measure the water until I had it in that pot. And that's the way it is with this, too. I don't know. This is four cups of water, but I don't think it's going to, it may take all of that. It may take a little more. Let's see. Yep, that's not going to do it. Get out in there. My hands are clean. I washed them. Now, what I'm doing, that's my was my mother's lay the law down finger. <laughs> Your index finger, to where you can touch the rice. And everybody, if they're normal, everybody's index finger for his joint is the same length. Check with your neighbor then, see if I'm not telling you the truth. I think that'll be enough. It didn't even take the whole thing. Just a little bit left over. And I stir. Now I stir. And I'm going to check and see if it's doing right, which I think it will. Hmm, exactly right. Now, into this, I'm going to put some olive oil, say like a couple of tablespoons full. That's to keep it from boiling over. It helps the flavor, though. It helps the flavor. Let's go. At two tablespoons full, that's what it says. And I'll bet that two tablespoons full when I get through. There it is. Two tablespoons full of olive oil. Put that down right there where it belongs. Now don't stir that now. I'm going to stir it in a few minutes, but right now I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to put it on a medium. Put it high to start with because I want it to cook fast. Then you'll see that uh, when I get it away, most all the water's gone. I'm going to put this lid on it and put it on simmer and let it simmer, 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 simmer. See? And that's the way it works. In this part, I'm going to make a seven steak, etouffee. Now, etouffee means smothered. When I get all of the stuff in there, all the, the stuff that has to be, I'll put that lid on it. It's got little rims that way. I can smother it, smother it down. Now, into this, I've got to put, I've got to move this uh, wildlife recipe. I, I will look at my recipes because anybody that's a creative cook can't remember the recipes. They've got to have them where they see them, you know. And that, I'm a creative cook and love doing what I do. Now, into this, I'm going to put two tablespoons, tablespoons full of olive oil, maybe a little more, maybe just a little more than two tablespoons full. No question about that. But I've got to put the seven steaks in here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's about two tablespoons full. No, not nowadays. Huh? <laughs> Guarantee you that. Now, I'm going to turn the fire on. I've got to put the fire on a medium heat. Medium hot heat. Let's go here, fire. That's on medium. I want to get. First, you put the, the seven steak that we got chopped up a little bit. Then I put all the rest of this stuff in there. And I'm going to show you all something while I'm thinking about it. While that's hotting up, I've got some shiitake mushrooms that's going to go in there. And I'm going to take one of these and take this ulu knife and chop it up to show you how ulu knife is used and also how easy they are to use. You know, we've got to go all the way over here to this little bowl and chop this up. You see, nothing to it. You don't chop with this. I've seen the Indians in, in Alaska where I got this knife Skin a whole deal, a filet of fish. You see how easy that was? Nothing to it. And clean it off a little bit and put the ulu knife back. Because it's sharp, I guarantee you that for true. That's for true, it is sharp. Go down in there. Now you're cooking good. Now I can put that, some of them seven steak in there and brown them all. And brown them all off. Come on here. Now we're going. You didn't think I knew that was hot, did you? Sure I did. Mm. Mm.
That seven stake is a shoulder stake. Now this has had the bone taken out. The reason they call it a seven stake is it has a perfect seven the bone makes. And it tastes good and it's a good piece of meat. And very few people realize that what a good piece of meat it is. Now I know I've got to put all this in there, which I'm gonna do. Oh boy, that smells good. Oh, Whew. man, I'm putting that in there. I can't help but think of a, a Cajun story. But this is beef, beef meat. And uh, you think about that, that Cajun, if the, the police one in, in Baton Rouge stop, that cuts his fire down a little bit. Put him on medium, medium. He stopped him. And he walked up to his car, and you could smell it from here to 10 feet away. He said, uh, are you drunk? Oh, hell no, I'm not drunk. Me. <laughs> he said, man, don't tell me. I can smell it. I don't care how you smell me. You see that fence over there? He said, yeah. He said, I guarantee I can jump that fence. He said, you can jump that fence? Oh, hell yeah, I can. He said, all right, get out of that car and jump that fence. He jumped out of that fence. And there was a big bull in there. And that bull ran him down and really worked him over. He came back though and he jumped the fence back. And the policeman saw all that was going on in there. And he said, uh, you jumped the fence all right. What in the world happened in there? He said, some damn fool in a bicycle tried to run over me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got all this in there. I'm going to wipe my hand on my knife that you know, I carry there. That's handy to the pocket on the shirt. And I'm going to move this out of my way. Just put it right over here, out of my way. And put, I got a lot of stuff I got to put in there, but I got to stir that stuff. You see, it can't brown on there like that, but it can brown the way I do it. <laughs> that, that is for a crew. To get up off the bottom. Turn it over. Mm -mm. And I'll tell you right now, that is, that is good meat. I'm gonna eat some of it. I can tell you that's for true. Etouffee, I etouffee most everything. I etouffee crab meat, etouffee crawfish, etouffee all kind of stuff, you know, because it's easy to cook. And this is easy cooking. Boil that rice. Got to cut you down a little bit too. Now, that's gonna cook just right. It's gonna get right. You see, I'm gradually browning all that meat. Ha! Didn't think I could do it, but I can. Doesn't have to be cooked because it has to cook. Oh, about three hours. It got to simmer for about three hours. Now into this, I'm gonna put a lot of good things, including shiitake mushrooms, but I just cut up one of them to show you what it was. And they, they to me, are the best mushrooms, and I love them. And I'm lucky I got a friend named Junior Monteleon that raises them for me and gives them to me. Boy, I'm glad to have a friend like that. Whew. Those things are expensive. All right, let's turn it over there and brown a little bit. Now into this, into this A2 fave, I've got to put a lot of stuff, like I'm gonna put, that there's four pounds of, 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 of meat in here, seven steak, and I got the salt to taste. I'm gonna put some salt in here right now. With this much meat, I've got to put two cups of onion, a cup of chopped bell pepper, two cup of chopped mushroom that I got chopped right there. I'm gonna put this salt in here though, and as I put this stuff over that, that's a teaspoon. And that's a teaspoon and a quarter. And this is about another half a teaspoon. <laughs> and it'll come out all right. Now I'm gonna put two cup of chopped onion, and I'm gonna stir this. Anytime you add anything, you got to stir. You always got to stir. Anytime you add anything. Any good Cajun cook will tell you that. And I'm just telling you the truth, that's all. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, bell pepper. About a half a cup of bell pepper. It's not a full cup, it's about a half a cup. That's what I'm gonna put in there right now. And I got to get it all. And I did. Mix it around and then stir. Oh, that onion just dropped on the floor. I'm gonna leave it down there though. I'm not gonna put it in here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh boy. Come on here now, let's get together. Ha. Get that down in. Now I'm gonna put into this two cup, two cup of shiitake mushrooms that I chopped up myself. I chopped them up. My hands are clean. Washed them yesterday. <laughs> and I stir some more. Mm-hmm. It's smelling better all the time. Now I got to put some more stuff in there though. I got olive, pimento stuff olive, and I got white wine. I see it. And I'm gonna put it in there right now. Now that's all the juice I'm gonna put in there. Put that in there. I got some celery powder. Here it is right here. I got the stuff. I got the stuff. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Now this is gonna be so good. I don't believe I understood it. A two fair. I don't know what Cajun invented that, but he was smart. This is this is celery powder. We didn't chop any celery and put in there. We used the powder. And it's good. I like to use dried, dried uh, vegetables. I really do. They're good. And they have the same flavor if you do what it says so on the direction what read on the box that you get it in. Or if you dry it yourself, you teach yourself what, what uh, when to put the water and all that stuff. Now into this, I got the mushroom, dry white wine. Now, stuffed pimento olive. Oh boy. Let's get the rest of that in there. Got it? And I'm gonna stir. Mm-hmm. Oh, I left an olive. I'll just eat that. Two of them. Mm-hmm. That's good. And it is, I got to put some dried parsley. And this is dried parsley, not fresh parsley. It's one half a cup of dried parsley. And when it swells up, it'll be better than a cup. Stir it up just damn. That wild rice is acting just about right. Now, I've got you some dried mint. As I say, I cook with it rather than cook with the Stir it up, get all that water on it. Mm-hmm. Garlic. Now this is a tablespoon full of chopped garlic. Get every bit of it in there because garlic's good for you. Tastes good. Cause people to invent twin beds, I admit that, but it's awful good. I love it. Oh, you kid. That's looking better all the time. Now I got to put a little steak sauce in that. And a little bit of hot sauce. Shake it up. Got it. I got to put a tablespoon full of, two tablespoons full of steak sauce. And I love good steak sauce. And this is good steak sauce. Oh, I, now just a, just a tablespoon full, Jack. Just a tablespoon full. All right, that's one tablespoon full. Two <laughs> tablespoons full. And a little bit more. That don't hurt a thing. I got to put a little bit of hot sauce. In that. Mm. It says 
two teaspoons, all right? I'll put two teaspoons. I don't have to measure it. I know two teaspoons from the bottom, see? That's two teaspoons. Exactly. <laughs> two teaspoons. And I stir this. Sit down there like you know what you're doing. Stir it good. Get everything stirred up good because we want all the seasoning to get mixed up into the whole thing. I'm going to put a lid that's, that's tight, and I'm going to let that simmer. This is going to simmer about three hours, two to three hours. So three hours is just about what I'm talking about. So put that on there like that. Oh, man. That tastes good, it smells, it's gonna be awful good. Let me just let y'all smell a little more of that one. <laughs> now I'm gonna put the lid on this. I've got everything in I always like to check that. Hot sauce, steak sauce, dried mint, celery powder, dried parsley, chopped garlic, pimento stuffed olive, a cup of dry white wine, one cup of bell pepper, two cup of mushroom, salt to taste, two cup of chopped onion, four pound of meat. Now let's just put this on. And we're going to lower this fire to a simmer, just a gentle little simmer. Where you at there? There you are, right here. And you know, they put it on that simmer, and it'll go good there, I guarantee you. Come on down, come on down, fire. That's what I like about gas cooking. You can see what you're doing with your heat. Got that. Now rice, I'm gonna have to stir you whether you want to be stirred or not, because you're getting close to the point where most of the water is going, but it's not quite gone. Doing good though, doing awful good. Now, I got a friend, Cajun, who was a zoologist in one of the universities. And he was in a zoology class one time, and he had a, a flea that he was working on. He got that flea with the microscope and all that stuff so he could see. He got that, looked through there, and he reached and got that flea with a little pair of tweezers, held it up, and pulled one leg off of that. Now, what I got to do with he pulled one leg, then he looked at the, through that mic some more at that flea, reached and got him, put another leg, and put him down, and the flea jumped. He put him back on the leg, he pulled another leg off, take the flea out, put him down, shoom, the flea jumped. Looked through that mic some more, reached and got that flea, pull off one more leg, put the flea down, pick him up, <coughs> and the flea jumped. He had one leg left. He reached in, got that one leg for that flea after picking him up, pulled it off, put it down. The flea didn't do anything. And he wrote in his report, he was writing all the time. He said, when you pull all the legs from a flea, he can't jump. <laughs> and that's true, he just can't jump. I got to put this on simmer, simmer, put the lid on it, put that right there. That's a heat diffuser, and I couldn't cook without it. I really couldn't. Diffuse that heat, got that done. Now, I've got to get me some of that uh, etouffee that I snuck up on people and prepared earlier. Mm-hmm. Get off of that. Yeah. Yeah, just, uh, just I don't want much. Just, uh, just a little steak or something like that, but I'm going to put some of that juice on some wild rice. Oh, you kid. That looks good. That looks good. Get a little wild rice that I had cooked earlier. Put it right here. Mm-hmm. Put that lid back on there. Go sit myself down. Pour myself a little wine and show you exactly how this tastes. And I want you to know, I guarantee it's got to be good. I got a little juice right here. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me get a piece of that A2 for meat. Shack. For more information and a complete line of fine Justin Wilson products, visit www.justinwilson.com or you may call 228-207-5379. Mesha, that's the Justin Wilson fine products. Justinwilson.com. That is good. <laughs>